Bubblicious? Watermelon. Watermelon Bubblicious. No, two, two packets. Buff watermelon Bubblicious. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, when we look at this, they say we have pair of lines. So we know if we have pair of lines, we have an opportunity to take a look at, again, remember, remember I gave you guys those four diagrams? We can look for alternate interior, alternate exterior, consecutive interior, and corresponding. So I noticed that I only have one interior angle. So the alternate interior and consecutive interior, you had to have two interior angles, right? I see that I have two exterior angles, but they're not alternating on my side of my transversal, are they? No, and we don't have anything as far as the consecutive exterior, because then they wouldn't really be consecutive. So we don't have anything like that. However, I do notice that 9x minus 21 and 11x minus 1, those do have a relationship. Does anybody remember that relationship for those two? You wrote down a picture of what they look like. How would, what is the relationship of these two angles? Yes, Kevin? Corresponding. They're corresponding angles. And we know when we, have when we have parallel lines, corresponding angles are same. Yeah, but their measure is the same, right? The measure of the angles is the same. So therefore, I can now draft up an equation that says negative or 9x minus 21 is equal to 11x minus 1. Oh, it's plus 21? Thank you. Well, that's going to make a difference. Does everybody understand? All right, now, to get practice, when you guys are doing this, I, under, I got to this point because the definition of corresponding angles. So when you guys are just going to write an equation like that, don't just write it. Just don't write the equation. You need to tell me where that came from. You wrote these equal to each other because corresponding angles. All right. Now we can solve. So let's add 1. Add 1. So I have 9x plus 22 equals 11x. Uh, subtract 9x. 22 equals 2x. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. x equals 11. All right? Sorry? No, no, I'm not going to raise it. So now, ladies and gentlemen, if we know the value of 11, or if we know the value of x, can we now plug, find the value of this angle? Yeah, you can do 11 times 11. Wait a minute, that's not 11. Yeah, yeah. 11 times 11 minus 1. OK? Do you guys see? Do you guys see what I did? I took the value of x, which is 11, and I plugged it into this equation. Therefore, that gives me an answer of 120. Now, I know that angle doesn't look like 120, all right? But that's just, I guess, part of the problem. Let's make sure that, yeah, that's everything's in there. All right, so now we know it's 120. But we still need to figure out what y is. We need to figure out what y is. Now, does anybody know how these two angles relate to each other? Don't worry about parallel lines. They have nothing to do actually with these. Do you guys see? These two lines are parallel. These two angles are on the same line. Mark, do you have an idea? Here is an example of corresponding angles. These two is a different angle. It's a different definition we've talked about earlier. Yes? They're adjacent angles. You're right. Why are they adjacent? Because they share a vertex and the same side. But the problem is adjacent angles don't tell us what their measurements, how their measurements, right? You can have adjacent angles. Any, any two angles can be adjacent. But what do we know about adjacent angles that make up a line? Do you guys see how when I add this angle to this angle, it makes up a line? It's called supplementary, or also a linear pair, a linear pair. These two angles are a linear pair. They make up a line. Therefore, they're supplement supplementary. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I can say 120 degrees plus 5y minus 5 supplementary angles add up to 180. So 
So therefore, this is 115 plus 5y equals 180. Subtract 115. 5y equals uh, 65. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. y equals 13. OK? So remember, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't write it in there. These two angles add up to 180 because these two angles are supplementary. Forgot to write it in there. This angle and this angle are supplementary. Okay. So therefore, I know that supplementary angles add up to 180. How'd you get 120 degrees, though? So I found out x equals 11, right? So then I put 11 in for x right here. So then I got that to be 120. So therefore, I know that this angle is equal to 120 degrees. So if this angle is equal to 120, then this angle plus that angle is equal to 180. OK? And so what's 9x plus 21? 9x plus 21. So we used, well, if you want to know what the angle is, yeah. just, plug in, just plug in 11. They didn't ask us what each angle was. They just asked us to find x and y, I believe, or they asked for the angles. Find the value of the variables in each finger. Yeah, so this said find the variable. But if they ask you to find the angle, yes? They're on the same side. Yeah, so they can't get the five rid of the, or rid of the five. Right, but, you, but I combine them first. Oh. I re Since they're on the same side, you can just do 120 minus 5. If they're on opposite sides, then you have to use the inverse operations. But since they're on the same side, I just combine them. OK? Um, I'll give you guys a hint. Uh, 